we have an industrial uh, uh, demand. So in those industrial facilities, they have a motor control center, how to operate control motors. <laughs> so we have various types of different voltages. We have a single phase uh, electrical system here, all the way up to three phases, where we'll teach every one of our students how to hook up, troubleshoot, and test a motor. As you can see, we also have all the test equipment available to them. And this is where Frank's going to get a little bit mean. This is the troubleshooting station. So <laughs> Frank's going to do a lot of different connections and give, them a, give the students a lot of different uh, configurations. And uh, probably won't have the system work on it. It allows the students to go ahead and troubleshoot and go ahead and work on the systems uh, to get it back up or to get it running uh, according to how hard uh, Mr. Ross makes it. And uh, pretty much, this is our electrical test lab. We have a hand tools uh, um, uh, station. One of the key features of this lab is, of course, it, uh, it covers every, every performance testing uh, that's required in the NCCR curriculum. And um, it gives the students a, a real life, hands on uh, uh, experience so that they take what they learn in the classroom and they can come out here and practice it. It is part of their, uh, it is part of their duty to pass this class. If they don't pass this performance uh, section, then we have to take them back and uh, retrain them. This, this lab was designed so that uh, we brought reality from the outside brought it into the classroom so the student can come here and practice his skills and ensure that everything he does is right. All right, so they will go out there with confidence uh, and also have the academics to back them up. And that's what's very good about this place. We have a transformer uh, bench here with all the tools available for, for the students. And uh, what this does is that we have a lot of uh, transformers out there, and this will teach them how to connect them, and also know the theory behind it. All right, over to our right, over here is our our cabling station. This is something near and dear to our hearts, as we're both high voltage electricians. So uh, this is probably the most the important part of our test lab. Something that we love to do. Something we've been doing for. Uh, 20 odd years. So uh, again, this is our cabling station, high voltage uh, splicing station, and all types of conductors. Every student has to meet a performance uh, test, and this section will prove just how well they're skilled at what we thought. Them. Here's where we teach them how to bend conduit. We have our main conduit bender, uh, thanks to Bert, uh, we were able to. Uh, get one of these uh, mechanical or uh, yes. hydraulic vendors. Yeah. And then on this section, yeah. you want to now, uh, first of all, the students have to know exactly yeah. what type of equipment they're working on and they're using. So we have the display board up here. Again, part of another performance yeah. test that they'll have to identify uh, these types of equipment. Mm -hmm. and we also replicated a residential, standard residential uh, installation. And again, that's going to give them real world training. Uh, in order to go ahead and, uh, and pull their conductors and hook up uh, a station just like it would be in a regular house. And uh, then we have our practical lighting application here. Uh, again, Mr. Bloss is gonna, <laughs> gonna make it a little, a little bit difficult for students, but they'll have to run three-way, four-way switches, single switches, and the different types of lights and the different types of ceilings that they'll, they'll run into in the real world. So, that's pretty much it.